ISIS struggled to maintain its influence in Iraq and Syria. Hence, it sought to expand its reach to Southeast Asia. Rogue groups from Malaysia and Indonesia pledged their allegiance to these terrorists. Then, they began to infiltrate the Philippines through the back doors from the south. The Philippines' war on terror worsened when ISIS encouraged terror groups in the country. On May 23, 2017, ISIS-inspired Maute and Abu Sayyaf groups laid siege on the city of Marawi. I have to declare martial law in the Mindanao group of islands. When a nation's freedom is threatened by a fanatical reign of terror, extraordinary men of courage and determination step up to the challenge to liberate the oppressed. Servicemen willing to sacrifice their lives for God and country. Decisive leadership, efficient planning, and the ability to adapt to a complex enemy was crucial in the Battle of Marau. One of the world's most wanted is Nilon Hapilon. Alongside the Maute brothers led more than 600 highly trained terrorists to establish strong defensive positions all over the city. civilian hostages as human shields, mostly women and children. Improvised explosive devices and effective enemy sniper fire were major obstacles that deterred advancing troops. <laughs> Thank you.
Not now, Walgi. Now what? Now I'm a Galio. Underground tunnels made them highly mobile. The Battle of Marawi evolved to be the longest and deadliest war the Philippines faced in the history of modern warfare since World War II. It is not the people we fight, but an ideology. An extremist ideology that ruined innocent lives. So long as threats to our peace and freedom remain, there will always be noble warriors who stand ready to serve the Filipino people. Go.